This I believe. Choose your battles wisely by Bianca Agosto. While my sister Yvette was growing up, there was a girl that would pick on her. I would always tell her, hey dude, if you are too chicken to do something about it, I'll do something about it. Every time we would come out to break, I would always see Yvette really sad. That would piss me off. I would tell her, did that girl do something to you? However, she would ignore me. I could not stand seeing that girl, especially when she would laugh about the harassment. I never told anyone about what I was going to do because I did not want the word to spread, but I was making a plan. Once I saw her, my adrenaline took over my body. I felt my blood boiling like hot water. My heart was pumping so hard, I did not even think twice about kicking her ass. I ran up to her and threw my first punch right in her eye. It felt so good. I took all my anger out on her. After I was done, I felt so happy as a kid gets with a piece of candy. It was a fair one-on-one -on -one fight. Everybody kept talking about it for months because they could not believe I had kicked her ass. A few months later, school was normal like always, eat, hang out, and go home. One day, I was walking to the bus stop and I got a weird feeling in my stomach. I got super cold as ice and I was wondering what is going on. However, I ignored my feeling and kept walking. As I was getting closer to the bus stop, a group of girls attacked me from the back. I kind of had a glance of the girls. They had chains wrapped around their hands and some had switchblades. As I got jumped, I kept saying to myself, Oh God, help me, I'm going to die. I felt like rhinos were jumping on me as if they were being chased by a cheetah. They kept kicking my head like it was a soccer ball and they were pulling me as they wanted me for themselves. I could not breathe anymore and I was completely blacked out. The last thing I remember seeing was an old lady staring at me, but I could not hear or respond back at her. I remember opening my eyes again and I was already in the hospital. I had forgotten what had happened. I was freaking out. I kept saying to myself, what the hell am I doing over here? The doctor came and told me I was very lucky that the old lady had found me on time. A few more minutes and I could have lost my memory and my vision. I know now that fighting never solves problems. I could have died in that same instant, but I got another chance. Now when I or someone I love is being threatened, I tell them what happened to me. When there is conflict at the college or in a workplace, I'm the bigger person and just walks away. That's what I should have done in the first place.